Hello everyone, this is Shuram from LearnerCon and in this video I'm going to show you how to commission a G120 drive from the scratch. So here I have my TI portal open and I've already installed my Synamics start drive. That's the tool you need for commissioning, configuration and testing the drive. So here you can check in your installed software if the Synamics start drive has been installed. Right now my drive has been mounted and wired to my induction motor but it doesn't have any setting and my PLC is connected to my drive via Ethernet port. So first thing first, we need to ensure that TI portal is able to scan the network and find the drive. So before adding any module, I'm going to go to my online access, select my network interface card and then click on the update accessible device. So it depends on what you have in your system. You may have PLC, HMI, and here I can see my drive, which doesn't have any IP address, and how I can identify that with the logo of a motor on it. Okay. So open this section, and then click on the online and diagnostics. Okay, there is a function folder here, which I can use to assign an IP address. So I'm going to assign an IP address aligned with other components in the network to ensure that there is no conflict. So 192, 168, 0, and 3, and subnet 3 times 255. And assign IP address. And I can verify in the message window that if the IP address has been applied successfully. Okay, so now if I update accessible device, I can see that my drive has an IP address. Next step is to select this object and then from the online menu, click on the upload device as a new station. So why I'm doing this? This is going to create a driver station that is fully aligned with the existing module. And I don't need to be worried about part number, firmware version, and all the other details that sometimes are very frustrating within the Siemens world. Okay, now here I can see a drive object has been added to my project. So underneath this drive objects, there is a section for commissioning. So I'm going to double click on this. I'm going to use commissioning wizard that takes me through the necessary step to get the drive up and running. Next step is to select this object and then from the online menu, click on the upload device as a new station. So why I'm doing this, this is going to create a drive station that is fully aligned with the existing module. And I don't need to be worried about part number, firmware version, and all the other details that sometimes are very frustrating within the Siemens world. Okay, now here I can see a drive object has been added to my project. So underneath this drive objects, there is a section for commissioning. So I'm going to double click on this. I'm going to use commissioning wizard that takes me through the necessary step to get the drive up and running. So I'm going to double click here to open the commissioning wizard. This commissioning wizard will take me through the necessary step to configure my drive properly. Siemens drives are offered with many options. In each step, it asks me some question that I would like to configure my drive. So in the first window application class, well, it's just a simple standard one, which could be like pump or fan. Next, where the set point is going to be created, basically it means the calculation for RAM function generation will happen uh, in the PLC or in the drive. So the, in this case, I'm going to do everything in the drive. So that's the default. Next, do I have any specific extra function? Because some of the Siemens drive come with uh, additional functionality built in. 
like uh, positioner inside or other things. In my case, I don't have any additional functionality, so I just make sure that all boxes are unchecked. Next question is about how to control the drive. Basically, how to send command and receive feedback. So you can either do it from the built-in IO on the drive or you can do it through uh, Ethernet Telegram. The default option is that you have both choice and, and you have the option to toggle between hardware connection or Ethernet option. So that's the item number seven, field bus with data set changeover. And if it's going through the network, it's going to go through standard Telegram 1, which is the most popular option. Okay, I'm gonna just leave it at default. As you can see here, there are a couple of inputs to for jog, acknowledge fault, reset, and then some uh, output for alarm, fault, and operation enabled. Next is the question about how you have wired your motor. So in my case, I have a IEC motor. The other option is NEMO motor. Then frequency and, and what level of voltage you are going to use to rotate your motor. You can find those information from your electrical drive. Next, do I have any filter? I have no filter and also no braking resistor. So next, you need to specify the details of your motor. So you either have a Siemens motor or a non-Siemens motor. If it's a non-Siemens motor, then you need to pick enter motor data and then you specify induction motor and then you put all the details here. You can find those information from the motor's nameplate. If it's a Siemens motor, then easiest way is to specify the part number and then all the details would be loaded automatically. So I select here, select from the order number list. And then I have a one LE1 series. And I know that I have this motor. And the uh, and then from the wiring standpoint, I know that I have wired my motor in Delta 4. And then I have no sensor, and that's it. So next, do I have any brake? No. Next. So here you need to specify some parameters like speed reference for calculating the speed set point. So since I have selected the motor, this information has been automatically loaded but you can also make sure that they are in range. You can verify this information with your motor nameplate. In my case, my motor nameplate shows nominal RPM of 1440, which is in line with 1500. Okay, and then click next. What kind of drive function I'm going to use? I'm just gonna go with the default, constant load, and then also motor identification is during the first time you power up your drive and motor, drive is gonna inject some current into motor windings to identify the resistance and other parameters it requires. So I leave it as the default, identifying motor data on operation. Next, so here is just a summary. So you just need to verify everything is correct. If something is not correct, you can simply go back and then update your configuration. So I click finish here and then select my drive, I can save my project, and then download the settings into my drive. And then I can pick the save parameterization in the EPROM of the drive as well. Okay, configuration is fully loaded and depends on your drive type, you may hear the ticking sound of some relay coil energized or de-energized. Okay, great, everything went well. Now I'm able to check if my drive is able to run my motor. For that, I have a control panel here. So I'm gonna activate this and then just maximize the screen to see the full information, then go online. I can see that the motor is in measurement mode, no problem, and then click on the activate, confirm the master control monitoring time. So my drive is ready for switching on. I just need to specify some speed set point. So I go with like 300 RPM, and then click either on forward or backward and then watch my motor if it's rotating or not. Okay. 
I can hear the sound of motor. It's doing some measurement, stationary measurement in process. And after that, this motor is on operation. And I can see the speed of 300. I would be able to stop the rotation. And then try a different set point. And then moving backward this time. And check my speed, which this time is negative. And stop it. I can also jog. So jog speed has a default of 200 RPM in the drive parameters. Okay, all good. So we were able to connect to our drive and do the commissioning in less than 10 minutes. I hope you learned something new. If you have found this video helpful, please make sure to share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.